My name is Lisa Pineda, and I live in Garden City, New York. I met my husband later in life. I was really into my career. I was a multimedia project manager at an investment banking firm on Wall Street. And having a family didn't cross my mind. When I was ready to have a family, it was a struggle for me. I'm a very traditional girl with a very traditional upbringing. I was really reluctant to go down the IVF path. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization, and it's where the egg and sperm are cultivated outside of the body in a test tube lab arena. After trying for a year to get pregnant, the doctor told us some devastating news. He said that I had about a 10% chance of getting pregnant, even with IVF. But I knew in my heart that this had to be wrong because I had gotten pregnant and miscarried before. When I was going through the process and awaiting the test results, I was so scared to find out each and every time. When I first did an intrauterine insemination, IUI, it resulted in a miscarriage. And the second IUI failed, after that, my husband and I decided to fast track it because of my age. I'm a yoga instructor. Luckily for me, I was able to use the tools in my back pocket to help me during some of the toughest times when I was going through IVF. Because IVF is so stressful and so filled with anxiety, when I miscarry, it was me getting back on my mat. It gave me the opportunity to get grounded, to trust my body, because yoga is this healing practice, and that's exactly what my body needed to get pregnant. When I first held my son in my hands, it was a watershed moment, just because of all the fertility struggles that I had been through, and it was a little miracle in front of me and in my hands, and it was the most beautiful moment in my life. After I had my son, I made it my mission to give back to the community by starting my Yoga for Fertility business. Eventually, I decided to write a book based on my personal struggles with IVF. It's called Finally Effing Fertile, Using Yoga, Meditation, and Breathwork to Conceive. If I could go back and tell my younger self a piece of advice, I would say, be calm stay strong, stay positive, and never give up.